Hi everyone, I'm John Corbett, some people know me, Corbett Mavs, and in this video I'm going to talk about the fact that it's almost 100 days to go into your first GCSE Mavs exam paper. So if you're preparing for AQA, Edexcel or OCR, or CA, M1 to M4, the first GCSE Mavs exam paper is on the 15th of May 2025, so Thursday the 15th of May in the morning is that first GCSE Mavs exam paper. If you're doing CA, M5 to M8, it's a little bit later, it's on the 4th of June. But if you're preparing for AQA, Edexcel, OCR, or CA, M1 to M4, your first GCC Mavs exam paper is on the 15th of May. Now, I'm a firm believer that everything is still to play for. With hard work between now and that first GCC Mavs exam paper, which is over 100 days away, or just over three months, with hard work, you can do really, really well, and you can make some massive gains. So if you may have done some mock papers before Christmas or after Christmas in school, or you may have received a report and your teacher said where you are currently at the minute. So you might know roughly what grade you're on at the minute, and you might know where you want to get to. So for instance, you may be on a grade seven, and you might be aiming for grade eight or nine. Or you might be on a grade five and you're aiming for grade six or seven. Or maybe you're on a grade three and you're aiming for grade four or five. If you're in Northern Ireland, you may be on a grade B and aiming for a grade A or A star. You might be on a D and you might be aiming for a grade C. And with hard work between now and that exam, which is just over 100 days away, I really believe you can do fantastically well. And it's about putting in the work, putting in that effort now so that it pays off in that exam. And with hard work between now and that exam, you can do really, really well. Now, in terms of some small tips, some little tips to help you prepare, one is make sure you're doing your five a day. So every single day on Corporate Mavs, we're doing your five a day. Is that little enough to approach to your revision? Also, work really hard on your lessons and make that lesson time count. Also, take advantage of any revision sessions. So if your teacher's doing any revision sessions after school or doing drop-ins at lunch times and so on, avail of those. And also, take what supports around you. So you may have a friend who's really good at maths or a brother and sister who's really good at maths. Maybe ask them to help you with a topic that you're struggling on. But those are some little tips to help you prepare for your GCSE maths exam. And that brings me on to the main thing that I want to share with you today, the fact that I'm going to be there to support you. So through the Corp Maths 100 Days to Go revision sessions that start on the 4th of February, which is 100 days to go, all the way up into the exam, there's going to be videos released on the website every single day that go through topics, they go through exam technique, go through the equipment you need, how to revise, how to approach the day before the exam and the day the morning off the exam. So those revision sessions are going to be starting from the 4th of February and they're going to go all the way every single day. There's a new one released on the website every single day from the 4th of February up until your exams. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit more about the revision sessions. So for instance, if I look at the GCSE Foundation schedule, uh, we have 100 days to go, so that'll be the 4th of February. I'm going to go through the four operations. The next day, 99 days to go, I'm going to go through rounding. The next day, order of operations. The next day, multiple factors, primes. The next day, 96 days to go, go through square and cube numbers and so on. And I can see every single day I'm going through a new topic. And those topics, I'm going to be going through the key information, some examples, and then there'll be some questions for you to try. Now, it might be possible that your teacher may have given you a printed book like this, and those questions for you to try will be in this book. Alternatively, there's also the 100 Days to Go revision books that you can get on the website, and these books have space to try those questions, and you can look into those if you want to. Now, you can actually just do the revision sessions using pen and paper, but it's just these books might be quite handy to keep it all together for you. Okay, so as I said, each of the days we're going to go through a topic, and most of the days are topics because that's the important thing to revise maths. The good thing is to actually practice maths and to go through those topics. So for GCSE Foundation, we'll go through those topics, and for GCSE Higher, if we look at the schedule for GCSE Higher, 100 days to go, so the 4th of February, we're going to go through the angles and parallel lines. The next day, angles and polygons. Pythagoras, area of circles and sectors, and so on. So each of the days, we're going to go through those topics, and each video lasts about five or ten minutes, and they go through some key information, the questions for you to try, and then there'll be some practice questions that you can go and try if you want to as well. And as well as videos going through topics, there's also videos that give you advice and tips on how to revise. So for instance, if we look at this, with 66 days to go, there's a video on revision techniques. I talk about where to revise, how to revise, past papers and things like that. And then with 32 days to go, there's a video dedicated to equipment, to talking about the different types of equipment and some tips in terms of the equipment that you can use and how to use it in the exam. With 15 days to go, with the GCSE Foundation, there's a practice paper. So there's a practice paper for you to try. And then the next day is a video going through all the answers. And then even as we get closer, there's videos on money topics, wordy questions, problem solving questions involving ratios. Then as we get to five days to go, we've got a number recap that goes through all the number topics. 
with four days to go there's a statistics recap going through all the statistics topics with three days to go an algebra recap with two days to go a shape space and geometry recap with one day to go this is the final tips in terms of how to approach the day before the exam and the morning of the exam and so on so as you can see these 100 days to go revision sessions are going to be so useful in terms of going through so many of the topics that you need to know for your gcse maths exam also the fact that they go through revision techniques equipment a recaps of all the topics in terms of wordy questions and things like that so these 100 days to go revision videos are going to be really really useful for you in terms of supporting you from now up until that first GCSE maths exam paper on the 15th of May and as I've said there's a book that you can print out and there's a link to that in the description below so you can request access to that book and you can print that out and use it alternatively you may be given by your school one of these 100 days to go revision books and in these books you've got all those questions so every single day when those videos whenever I go through a topic I then say pause and I try some questions yourself and these questions are printed in there for you as well so those 100 days to go revision videos will be really useful for you from the 4th of February all the way up to that first exam paper and hopefully you help boost your confidence and help you smash that first GCSE maths exam paper and hopefully the second and third one as well. So that's it. So I really, really hope you find this video useful and I hope you find these resources useful. So just to recap, there's just over 100 days to go to your GCSE maths exam. Put in that work, everything is to play for. I'm really confident that if you put in that hard work that you can do fantastically well and that you can get the grade that you want. So start the revision early, start now, do your five a days, and on the 4th of February, start these 100 days to go revision videos. And they'll be really, really useful for you, and I hope that you do really well. All the best. Cheers. Bye.